morning YouTube. Uh, this is one of the old fluorescent lights in my garage shop area. Normally when the sun's out I use these LED strip lights but when the sun's not out I use fluorescent lights. These are actually pretty old. They're T12 tubes and if you can hear that buzzing That is the ballast in this unit here that's going out. I've already replaced it, I think, once or twice over the years. I don't want to replace it again, so I'm going to just get rid of it. Okay, YouTube, first step in uh, doing this LED tube retrofit is to unplug your light and then take the uh, reflector off. There's a screw at each end, and in the middle here, this is a a T12 fixture so it's got a magnetic ballast. There's basically a big transformer inside of there. See the black wire wraps around. That's the power cord coming in there and down at that end. Two blue wires, two red wires and you want to connect those together and then over here there's two yellow wires and they're jumpered to the black wires to the other uh, connector. And so I'll show you what it looks like once I cut the wires and get everything ready to hook up. Okay, here's a little midway step. I've got the sheathing stripped off the main power cord, and I'll run the white wire up to the red and blue wires that go to the sockets on that end of the light. And then I'll run the black wire, which is here, over this end and I've got the yellow wires stripped they're way down there and they'll run to that end so I'll have the hot on that end and I'll have the neutral over here the ground screw and then you can see the uh, ballast I've just tucked all the wires out of the way you can remove that but to do that I'd have to take the fixture down because you can see the uh, ballast is screwed in from above and I might as well just leave it there. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not going to be connected. So I'll show you what it looks like once I get all the wires hooked up here. Okay, I have the uh, yellow wires hooked up to the black hot wire from the power plug and then I run the uh, neutral wire over and they connect up to the uh, red and blue wires that feed the other sockets. I was getting this, putting this fixture back together and uh, I can't get right into the middle. I've got some uh, power tools down below here so what works good is if you just put a strap around the end of the light fixture. I put a strap to hold the reflector on that end and then I can go down on this end and screw it in place and then I can move my step stool over to this side and get it screwed in. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, there we go. Three T12 fixtures from the 1980s converted to T8 LED tubes with no ballasts. And I've gone from 240 watts down to 120 watts of light right there. And I'll just show you uh, what my solar looks like. I'll switch over and get the same shot and see what that looks like. And here's the solar that's um, running about 60 watts. So that's half the power of the AC lights. Quite usable light. I have it dimmed down and lost some of the, the LEDs in the strip lights over over the summer I may have to go to a little higher quality strip light. These didn't seem to be as good. I've had better luck with some of the other brands. They're just held up on strips of aluminum screwed to the uh, roof rafters up there. So Then I'll just show you uh, my other LED lights here. 